Today we're going to be looking at what will happen if a CPU fan stops working in a desktop computer. So we're going to be using this computer to see what happens when its fan stops working. So first, let's start by looking at the CPU temperature of this computer while the CPU fan is running so that we know how this computer is supposed to be when it's working normally. So the computer has been on and idling for about 15 minutes and the CPU temperature seems to have settled at around 34 Celsius, which is very normal. Next, I'm going to use Prime95 to get the CPU running at 100% usage to see how hot it will get. After leaving the CPU running at 100% for about 20 minutes, it has reached around 77 degrees Celsius. This is perfectly okay for this computer. If I open up Task Manager, we can see that the clock speed of the CPU is running at around 3.5 GHz, which is normal for this processor. So everything is working well so far. So the CPU, with its fan running, reached 34 degrees Celsius at idle and 77 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at 100%. So now we know what temperatures this CPU will normally reach with the fan running, let's now stop the CPU fan and see what happens. So I've stopped the fan and turned on the computer. So let's see what happens now. The computer has been on for about 15 minutes with the computer idling and the CPU temperature has reached 42 degrees Celsius. But when the CPU fan was working, it reached 34 degrees Celsius after 15 minutes of idling. So that's an increase of 8 degrees Celsius already. But even though the CPU temperature has gone up, this is still definitely cool enough for a bit of light computer use. For example, I can open and close various files and folders, run a few simple apps, browse the internet and so on. And the CPU temperature, after all that, is still very much within a safe limit. So now let's make the CPU work at 100% still with its fan not working and see what happens. The CPU temperature is going up quite quickly, but this is to be expected as the CPU has changed from idling to 100% usage. But the most important question is, how hot will it get? And also, what will happen to this computer? So I've left the CPU running at 100% for about five minutes the temperature has gone up to 100 degrees Celsius. This computer is now also thermal throttling, as shown here. In other words, the CPU has become so hot that it slowed itself down to try and stop the temperatures from rising any further. And if I open up Task Manager, we can see that the clock speed of the processor has slowed down. It's supposed to be running at 3.5 gigahertz but because of thermal throttling, it slowed down to about three gigahertz. So now let's turn the computer off and then turn it back on with the CPU fan working again. The computer is idling and as shown here, the CPU temperature has now gone back to normal. And after running the CPU at 100% for 20 minutes, it's back to running at a much more reasonable temperature and there's no thermal throttling either. As for the speed of the CPU, that has gone back to about 3.5 gigahertz as it's supposed to. So all is well now that the CPU fan is working again. So if the CPU fan stops working, the CPU will definitely be running hotter. As you saw earlier on, the CPU in this computer started to thermal throttle at 100 degrees Celsius but some computers will thermal throttle at a higher or lower temperature than this. Something that we didn't see in this video is that if the CPU is thermal throttling, but the temperature of the CPU still continues to rise, even with thermal throttling, then the computer will shut down to protect itself. The reason why this computer didn't shut down it's because thermal throttling was good enough to keep this CPU from going over 100 degrees Celsius. It's good that our computers these days have protections in place to help protect the hardware, but don't rely on those protections as a very hot running CPU can have its life shortened dramatically.
So if your CPU fan stops working, turn your computer off and get it fixed straight away. Well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.